So one of the first thing I want to do is I have this little process here, this little interval and this little song that's repeating. I want to be able to uh, launch it with one of the buttons I've enabled. So I can just click on it and I can add a trigger. Once we start getting into triggers, I think is the real nitty gritty of score. A trigger uh, basically means that the interval prior, his uh, duration is actually set to a few seconds. But in our case, the duration will be for as long as uh, the trigger is not validated. As soon as I validate the condition of the trigger, I'll be able to finish this interval. But if I don't do anything, the interval is just going to run and run forever. I can demonstrate this just by pressing play. I can see that it is playing through time just normally. But now, uh, nothing is getting through and the interval is still not finished, although we see that time is still continuing on to the, uh, the other intervals. So this is now uh, um, a little, uh, this is a little more um, interactive, as in uh, I have uh, various uh, intervals, but some of them will uh, play with just their given duration, they will go back to blue once they are disabled, they are finished playing. And I see that I have one that is just continuing to play. Uh, I'm just uh, testing here so I can validate it by simply clicking on it. And now I can see that I, have, uh, I, I'm, I am playing through this interval, but with, uh, I don't know, a few seconds delayed from uh, everything that was happening prior say that uh, I want to launch it with my uh, MIDI controller here. It's very simple. I just uh, uh, choose a, a note on, for example, that I liked, uh, let's say the 38. And I'll just drag and drop it on the trigger. So here I start playing and now I can start my, um, my uh, little um, file player here simply by pressing the note because I've dragged and dropped it on the trigger. So now the, as I said, the duration here is completely relative. I can simply uh, have the interval be much shorter. See, it was uh, it was stopped a lot earlier than expected. Or I can have it go for a lot longer than it was uh, originally uh, intended. And I can see that here it should have started, but uh, it's just waiting for me to press that key. And there we go. There we go. One of the ways that we will actually uh, make sure that, uh, for example, um, this interval is played for at least a couple seconds or something, I can just start limiting it. So if I just click on it, I can set a minimum value. So here it gives me an opening uh, parentheses. I can just uh, drag this around and say, okay, the time is only relative uh, starting from here. So starting from here, I'll be able to switch to uh, the following interval. I can show you right now. So I'll go play. And now I'm clicking furiously on the, the keyboard. Nothing happens. Now it happens because I was, I was clicking right in the, during the, um, the dotted period. Just in the same way, I can have a maximum value for my trigger. And I can see that I have a closing parentheses here. So I can just uh, put it somewhere after the trigger and say, if it wasn't validated at this point, we'll validate it anyway. So we just make sure that uh, no uh, interval is just playing uh, infinitely. So I'll just try again. I go play. Now I have a chance to start it. Now I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to wait. And now it's starting on its own. I didn't uh, push any button. It's just started on its own because it went past the maximum limitation here. 